thank you very much dr john thana kumar and dr kona kumari and the organizers for giving me this opportunity to just have participation in the debate and today is the era of data and edward heming had deming had beautifully said without data you are just another person with an opinion so what i did was that i went backwards worked backwards from 2023 i have gone back to 2017 and i have searched the data on which one is better for incisional hernia repair laparoscopy not going to show my videos but these are the publications which are there as recently as august 2023 and in this one can find out that outcomes of recurrent incisional hernia repair by open and laparoscopic approach a propensity score matched comparison and in this it was found in laparoscopy the operative time is definitely less and stay of in the hospital is also less whereas in open surgery open incisional hernia repair the incidence of surgical site infection is definitely more and hematoma is definitely more though this publication says in long term the recurrence rates are more or less similar this is a rider and then there was again again a publication in 23 updates in surgery and in this they have, what they have done is uh, all of us know about european guidelines all of us know about american guidelines so i have chosen <laughs> so which one is better according to the mortality morbidity recurrence quality of life quality of of life after laparoscopic surgery is far far better length of hospitalization is far less post op pain is far less cost are uh, now initially open surgeons were against the laparoscopic surgeons because they were mentioning that the, we are going to put in a large dual mesh and dual mesh is a costly affair but with the advent of e taps and other procedures we have been able to use even 30 by 30 size proline mesh in the retro muscular plane that too by laparoscopic method or robotic method and the cost issues overall have come down and this publication has graded and g r a d e grading of recommendations assessment development and evaluations methodology i am not going to bore you with this busy slide but i have just made a the recommendation that for example in this publication they have just compared straight way laparoscopy versus open which one is better and they have said that if the hernial defect is less than smaller than 10 cm laparoscopic surgery is definitely better in those for example more than 70 years laparoscopic surgery takes over obesity more than 30 bmi again laparoscopy is better and if the patient is presented is far far better and border hernias also you can see that ultimately laparoscopic hernia parastomal hernias definitely laparoscopy store, scores over there was a comparison between ipom and ipom plus but once we have started doing the suturing of the defect the chances of seroma are reduced so laparoscopic so, scores over there is a competition i would not say it is a competitive it is just an adding on the tools so if you go in for robotic training and you are doing robotic ex abdominal wall reconstruction definitely it helps so all said and done there is i honestly speaking between laparoscopy and open repair laparoscopy scores over very high and this has been extrapolated also to even primary midline ventral hernias i my discussion was about the incisional hernias but it has been extrapolated in this publication and this is again in 2023 and we have seen uh, so many randomized cl clinical trials also have come out and they are clearly showing that laparoscopy is far better for op uh, for uh, incisional hernia repair the incidence of incisional hernia i think the, the point which has to be discussed today in these kind of conferences is that 13% of incisional hernia after a midline laparotomy is too high so we should discuss why how can we reduce this 13% and almost 80% will eventually need a further operation this is startling information so our thinking is 
that one should definitely dwell on those topics rather than comparison between laparoscopy and open and they have gone in to that extent that defects up to even 15 centimeters can be tackled by laparoscopy thanks to ETAP and thanks to ETAP, TAR and RS and again I am not saying this is the guideline from us but Italian guidelines, European guidelines, American guidelines Danish guidelines. So, so many studies have been there, but I would definitely bring your attention to Todd Hennyford's this publication in Sages 2020. Are laparoscopy and open ventral hernia repairs truly comparable? They are not. Today, all of us know that open hernia repairs are more likely to be recurrent, complex, require component separation, <clears throat> and more likely to develop post-operative wound complications so and all of us have seen those wound complications and in this publication in hernia 2020 again so much of a number 35,000 people had patients had got the open surgery repair done and 14,000 laparoscopy but again I will just read it out verbatim that laparoscopic surgery was associated with overall low morbidity compared to open repair the incidence of surgical site infections 1.1 percent versus 3.5 percent post-operative infections 2.7 percent versus 3.6 percent and re-operation rate also is definitely lower after laparoscopic surgery so i once you get yourself equipped and robotically if you are able to do it and if you are able to give the best to the patient nothing like it especially i will urge my younger colleagues please this is the time to go in for training for robotic surgery and then ultimately make a difference in the life of the patients and with the with the advent of etap techniques all of us know that such a beautiful publication and on so much like a wildfire it has spread and ETAP is has already taken over and now we are able to put a mesh retromuscular plane without tacking without pain without any adhesions without yeah and so ultimate answer is that please decide for yourself you want to be remain an old crow or you want to become a modern crow use the straw now you want to become a ultra modern crow so learn the robotics learn this method and go